Get my free book called The Overseas Basketball Blueprint, 237 pages with all the information you need about playing ball overseas by going to balloverseas.com. Dreallday.com, balloverseas.com. This is a question that I get asked every once in a while from players, which is, Dre, can I get a job or an opportunity playing overseas if I don't have game experience? I haven't played in a whole lot of games, you know, I play locally, I work out, I work on my game, I feel like I'm good, but I don't have a lot of game experience, five on five, can I still get a chance to play overseas? The answer, short answer to the question is yes. Now, the deeper answer is how do you actually do it? That's what I want to answer here. If you don't have a lot of five on five game experience, then that also probably means you don't have any five on five game footage. You don't have any proof. Y'all got to understand, just keep this in mind, this is a fundamental rule. You're trying to get a job. You live somewhere in America. I'm in America right now, right? And you're trying to get a job overseas on the other side of the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. So these people haven't met you in person. They're not from the same culture as you. They don't know you. The only way, how can they evaluate you? How would they know if you're any good? The only way they would know if you're any good is they're going to look at your game film. They want to see how you play. And I want you to be clear. They want to see your game film. They want to see how you play not how you practice. They don't want to watch you shooting free throws or watch you uh, dunking on a, a folding chair or crossing over a chair and throwing bean bags in the air. And I'm not knocking that. That's a different conversation for a different day. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But for you to prove that you can play five on five ball, you got to show that you have played five on five ball. I mean, that's just, it just makes sense, right? So you need to get footage of yourself playing five on five against other people who are good. Not just 5 on 5 against some bum ass people, not 5 on 5 in your local rec league at the LA Fitness, but 5 on 5 against people who can play. Now, how do you know if you're playing against people who can play? Go to an exposure camp, and at an exposure camp, there'll be other players who. Here's the thing about exposure camp everybody there paid money to be there. See, a random bum dude who is the manager at, the shift manager at Taco Bell, could show up at LA Fitness and play in a league for free, or they pay $25 for the t shirt. All right, that's no real investment. All right, and they live 15 minutes away from the gym. They didn't have to make a real investment to play there. Now, somebody goes to an exposure camp, they had to pay the $500 fee or whatever it was. They had to pay for a round trip ticket. They probably had to pay for their hotel. They had to pay for their food. They probably had to work on their game and get in shape. They probably take themselves pretty seriously as a basketball player. Now, that does that mean that they're necessarily good? No, because there could be some bums that still show up even though they paid money. But for the most part, because of the filtering process that people got to put money involved, people got to put money behind their belief that they can play, usually that means the players are pretty good. And that's just the way that it works in life. When you tell, ask people, all right, who here thinks they're nice and ball, everybody's going to raise their hand. You say, all right, whoever thinks they're nice and ball, put $500 down, and we're going to let y'all play and see who can play. Now, then you're going to find out who really thinks they're nice. You see, anybody thinks they're nice when they're just talking about it. You tell them to put some money behind it, now you're going to find out who really believes it. And this is just, again, it's just the way it works in life. You tell people to put, some, put their money where their mouth is, you find out who's serious. So... When you go to an exposure camp, you're going to be playing against players who really believe that they can play, and they have a reason to believe they can play, which means they probably played in college somewhere. They played, maybe they have played pro already. Maybe they already have an agent. Maybe they've already talked to teams. Maybe they believe just as much as you do that they can play pro. So when you play against them, you get the footage. All right, now here's some footage of you playing against the people who can play. This is footage of me playing at an exposure camp. Here's the name of the exposure camp. Here's where the camp was at. The team overseas, they know about exposure camps. They know how they work. They understand what I just explained to you mentally, how you know you're getting some players who are, like, for real about their game, thorough in their game, all at the same place, and you play well there. Now that's something. Now you can prove that you can go. So if you don't have game footage or you don't have a lot of five-on-five -five experience but you believe you can play, listen, is there a high chance that a team uh, – let me back up. Is the team going to sign you sight unseen just off of that? No. Is the team going to sign you off your workout video 99 times out of 100? No. But is it possible that you can play even though you don't have a lot of game experience? Yes. When I talked to Brad Candace, who runs Euro Pro Basket, I did an interview with him that's over two hours long. It's here on YouTube. So just go look it up. I did two interviews with him, so go look up both of them, the 2021 and the 2015 one. He said, look, I had a guy who never played organized basketball, but he only played, like, street ball. But he just understood the game. This dude just has a natural, innate feel for the game. And he was able to get a job playing ball in Spain. Brad said he got him a job 
playing ball in Spain or the guy got himself a job with Brad's help through his academy and all of that. So is it possible? Of course it's possible. I mean, again, I just gave you proof of a person who actually did it. But the way that guy got his job is he had to go somewhere and he had to play five on five to show that he could play five on five so that a team could look at him and say, all right, we see he could play five on five. Let's sign him to a contract. So you have to, at some point, prove that you can play five on five ball. Proof. That means you have to play in a game. <laughs> you got to have footage of yourself playing in the game, not a workout, not doing drills in a game against people who can play. All right, now how do you play against people who can play? Let me say it one more time because I get asked this question so much. For those of y'all who understood, I had to repeat myself because people don't be listening. You got to play at an exposure camp or go to somewhere where you can play against pro players. So if that could be an academy, a tour, a traveling team, or go to an exposure camp. Those are the ways that you can prove you can play five on five. Everybody got that? I got to say it again. Now. I got a free download called 46 Things You Must Know About Playing Basketball Overseas. You can download it, get it on your phone within the next 10 seconds. All you got to do is go to balloverseas.com slash 46. It is the link. I think I put it down in the video description. If I forgot, just remind me. I'll leave it to you in the comments. Balloverseas.com slash 46. That's an immediate download you can get now. Of course, I still got the book, The Overseas Basketball Blueprint. Pay a small shipping charge. Get that shipped to your doorstep anywhere worldwide. You can get both. You get the download and start looking at it right now, like in the time it takes me to say this sentence. Balloverseas.com slash 46. Work on your game. I got a lot more coming, so subscribe. I got a lot more info. Work on your game. Dre, all.